Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another brand new lesson working with Tinkercad and an iPad. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. Of course, step one is to hit plus, and we are going to make a brand new 3D design. Today, our 3D design is going to be an amazing little flower. I want you to start by bringing out the half sphere. Let's use Fit View to zoom in. And then I want you to change its measurements. Now note we are going to click the corner. And here where it says 20, we are going to backspace. We're going to make that 10. Remember you swipe down to do the numbers. We're going to take that part and we're going to duplicate it. And we want to put them right across from each other. So notice when I moved that, it said 0, 0. That is absolutely perfect. Now we're going to do a really cool trick where we tap tap drag to grab both now it takes a minute to get good at it but once you nail it it is a very cool way to select two items now this is the magic part we're gonna hit duplicate and we're gonna rotate whatever degrees you pick then let go and just hit duplicate again and again and again and it makes a magnificent flower almost instantly I'm gonna bring out another one of these to put in the middle I'm gonna change the color to yellow notice if you bring it out it looks absolutely fabulous I'm gonna grab everything with that tap tap select notice it does take a couple times that time I've got it I'm gonna hit group it'll change to one color because we made them a group but we're just gonna click and turn on multicolor now, friends, I want to put it in a cute little flower pot. We're going to do that with a cone. Now, when you bring this out, it has a base radius of 10. We're going to make the top radius 15. So drag down on the 1 and the 5. And when you click somewhere else, check it out from an angle. Instant flower pot. Let's make it whatever color you want. Let's take our flower and stand it up. So notice we're looking at it from the side. When you rotate... If you come a long ways away, it's one degree at a time. If you stay close to the shape, inside that blue circle, it's real easy to do the 90 degrees. We're going to raise it up in the air with the cone. Remember, if you miss, just try, try again. I'm going to get those close, and I'm going to zoom so that it looks the way I want. And now I want to take those two, so see how it says two shapes? And I want to align them. I want to align them that way. And let's do it again. And I want to align them from this side. See if I can get right on that dot. And I miss that more than I miss anything. There we go. And I'm going to double check this one too. Bingo. Bango. Friends, I'm going to quickly add a stem. And I want to set the stem up here. I'm going to make the stem with a cylinder. I'm going to use the little modifier to shrink it all at once. So I'm holding the top one and making it shorter. And then I can just click on that and make it taller. I'm going to make it green. If you don't have this modifier, so if you're using the web browser, just make sure you set the corners of these the same. So see how I did 6x6? Six six? You would do something like that. Make sure it's in the right spot. And we have got a pretty fantastic flower and flower pot you can of course do this again and again to make many flowers i'm going to make my flower pot just a little more cool with that work plane still up there on top i'm going to bring the tube out and i'm going to change the tubes measurements remember we did that radius of 15 so for the top here i'm going to change it to 17. if we click back here you'll see it gets wider and then if I push this down and make it brown, you can see that looks just like a real flower pot. I'm going to just make sure they're centered. So there's click on the cone, click on the tube, choose a line. This one was already perfect, but I had missed that one. Bam, got that lined up. I also want to make it more round, so I'm going to go to the sides. And I think I'm going to try a bevel. Ooh, that looks pretty darn awesome as well. Put the work plane back down to the ground. And friends, I'm going to call this project wrapped up. I am going to change the name. I forgot that on the first step. So it is going to be flower. 
And friends, don't forget, whenever you finish a project, if you're proud of what you made, click back on the Tinkercad page, which saves it, and then click up on the gear and go to Properties, give it a description, give it some cool tags, and then go down and make it public and make it so that it is no derivatives. That way other people learn by using the tutorial. When you're done with that, friends, when you click the gallery, of course, initially you see all the amazing projects that are staff picks, but if you switch to recent, you will see cool projects created by everybody else, including possibly your own. Check out this fun bat. That is absolutely awesome. I'm going to hit this button right here and give it an awesome. Make sure, friends, when you see people's projects that are pretty magnificent, you give them a reaction as well. Friends, I hope you learned a ton with this lesson and you're having a blast with your iPad and Tinkercad. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.